Hello, Kpop Med here with another video asking if UCSB prepared me for my MCAT studies. So the MCAT, for those who don't know, is a seven hour and 22 minute exam that tests general and organic chemistry, algebra-based physics, biology, biochemistry, psychology, sociology, and critical reading. And so the test is split into four sections. There's chemistry physics, cars, bio-biochemistry, and psychology and sociology. All the sections besides cars has 59 questions to be finished in an hour and 35 minutes and cars is its own separate section which is 53 questions to be finished in one hour and 30 minutes so today's video is primarily focused on chemistry and bio biology biochemistry as these sections are really the most directly taught by ucsb psych soc is also directly taught by ucsb but i have never taken a psych psych soc class while i was at ucsb and so in short, the answer is yes. Uh, I was able to score a 90, 90th percentile plus on chemistry and biology and biochemistry, those respective sections. And the long answer is it depends on how many upper division classes that you take while you're at UCSB, specifically hard science upper division classes. And so while the MCAT states that it only tests on introductory biology concepts, and chemistry concepts and physics concepts, the test has really been trending more towards data interpretation and data analysis. And so, right, contrary to like popular belief, it's not really the depth of the knowledge that you're tested on in the MCAT because the MCAT is really like, it's a mild wide, but an inch deep. And so you really only need a general understanding of these subjects. Really the hardest part of the MCAT is the data interpretation. Namely, can you look at a graph, can you read this passage, both of these which come from the scientific literature. And scientific literature, for those who don't know, are pretty much these like published journals in Nature or Cell, where you know a bunch of scientists work and come up with like all this data and they publish it, um, trying to answer a specific question. And so you're supposed to read those and you have to extrapolate information and answer pretty much 59 questions under like immense time constraints. Like it's an hour and 35 minutes, so you really only get about I'd say like 80 seconds to 90 seconds per question, which is not a lot of time. And so in my opinion, these skills can really only be learned through upper division hard science courses, where a lot of the course material actually is pulled from the scientific literature and a lot of your tests are based on application and you know, kind of like reading scientific literature and answering those questions. And also um, those upper divisions that are especially useful are like the journal clubs. Um, when you get into UCSB, you'll know that these are like the MCDB 194 series where you just read a bunch of articles, you present on the paper, so, you know, like uh, courses like those that require you really to go into the primary literature and like really figure out what the answer is. Those kind of courses are really useful for the MCAT. And those were actually most of the courses that I took, which probably explains why I was able to score that well on the respective sections of chemistry and physics and biology and biochemistry. The courses that I felt that were especially helpful for the MCAT were MCDB 101B, MCDB 108A and B, and MCDB 111. Respectively, they are Mendelian genetics, um, protein DNA biochemistry, enzyme kinetics and metabolism, and human physiology. And my only regret was that I never took a psychology and sociology course while I was in UCSB. And while you can sufficiently self-study these once you get to learn to once you get to the MCAT phase of your pre-med journey, you know, you'll find out the stock called the 100 page or the 300 page psych -so stock or the 90 page psych -so stock. And there are a lot of resources to self-study this section. And it is the most self-study section. However, background knowledge is super important for the MCAT. I, I can't stress this enough. That's why I told y'all to take as much upper division hard science courses as possible. I was able, able to score 90th percentile plus on those sections. However, the courses I really didn't have a lot of background knowledge in, like in psych so I scored 85th percentile, which is still okay. Um, but you know, it's you want to score 90th percentile plus, it's just better. You get a higher score, higher scores are better. Uh, and so I also, I just really recommend that before you start studying for the MCAT, like maybe the quarter before, take a psychology, take a sociology course so that when you start going into the 300 page doc or whatever sort of resources that you can self-study, you have that background knowledge. That background knowledge is so important to scoring a high score. And now this is not to say that you can't score high if you don't take these courses. 
However, the transition to scoring high will be a lot easier if you do take these courses. And so I hope that was really helpful. And uh, if you found this helpful, please give me a subscribe and a like. Thank you.